Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Tashawn here and I'm back with another haul. This one is from that Smell Good shop. I placed this order on 6-3. She, act, Wendy actually had a um, restock. So um, I went online and placed a small order. <clears throat> and um, I received this on 6 15 uh, So I have had this um, for a little bit uh, waiting to be open. So let's go ahead and get started. So this one is a sample and it's sweater weather and it's a sage juniper, juniper berry um, eucalyptus and woods. Now I've had sweater weather from other vendors and I do enjoy it very much. I've never had it from Wendy though. Oh, this is it's so good. It's woodsy, warm, outdoorsy. And then you get that eucalyptus, oh. It's like almost um, like you're getting a refreshing um, blend or feel from this when you sniff this. This smells really good. Mmm. And it's super strong. Just this one little cube is, it's intense. I find that with um, Wendy's Wax, less is more. I've learned the hard way um, when I first started um, purchasing from her in the beginning and I you know was very um, overzealous with putting two cubes I forget what scent it was but oh my goodness it was so strong I was just like okay yeah that was too much <laughs> so I've learned my lesson so I would say start off with one and um, see how that works for you. And if you feel as though it's not giving you what you need, then you can always add on. But um, I don't recommend just off the gate starting off with two, especially if it's a super strong scent um, to begin with. So um, a lot of her wax is really strong and it throws really well for me in my home. So um, the next thing that I ordered is Egyptian Amber. And this is Amber Light Florals and Earthy Notes. And I love how she gives multicolored cubes. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> My daughter just came out to remind me um, that I was supposed to have got her some strawberries. <laughs> Give me one second. I'm back, guys. Sorry about that. She had been patiently waiting, and I completely forgot. Um... Oh, so, okay. So, yes. So, Egyptian Amber. So, let's see. I've never had this blend from um, Wendy before. And you definitely get the earthy notes, the amber, and those light florals. This one is nice. I do like it. I wasn't sure how I was going to like it, but on cold, I do like it. It's not too heavy. It's just right. It's perfect. Then I got frankincense and myrrh, and this is enchanting frankincense and aromatic myrrh. <clears throat> Ooh. This one is nice. This is very like incense y. <coughs> It's earthy, very, um, like I said, very incense-y. So if you're familiar with incense, you kind of know what I, what I, um, what I mean. <laughs> um, my mom used to burn incense when I was growing up as a child and, um, it always smelled really good in the house. I guess you can say I've been around fragrance, home fragrance, since I was a little kid. Because it started out with my mom 
burning incense. Oh, and I forgot to show you guys. So these is all one color. Then I got Calacus, which is lime and neroli, and this is a lush type. Mmm, so good. You definitely get that lime and the neroli. Oh. This just smells so good. It's, um, very um crisp and fresh and just citrusy mm. i've never had um this uh scent from lush i used to shop at lush back in the day but i used to just get like their skincare so a lot of things that are lush type dupes i am not familiar with but this smells really good. And I love the colors that she chose for this. In person, so these look like a darker um, color, but in person they're lighter. So it kind of reminds me of, this kind of reminds me of cantaloupe and honeydew melon. So um, that's what is the vibe that is giving me in terms of the color. Then I just got um, her lavender, herbal lavender. And some of these blends, I can't remember, I should have wrote it down. Some of these blends um, I got based off of <clears throat> Danny's uh, review of them and how much she enjoyed them. So some of these scents I did get based off of her recommendations. Oh, this lavender is beautiful. Mmm. Oh, wow. Yes, I love this. I think I might put this on tonight in my daughter's room. It's an herbal lavender, so it's a little bit more um, on the stronger side. So if you don't like herbal lavender, this is not for you. <laughs> um, I do enjoy herbal lavender and I enjoy sweet lavender. So, but this one smells really good. I can't wait to warm that. Like I said, I think I'm gonna put that on tonight. And then I got Voldemort, Driftwood, and Vetiver, and Coconut. And, oh, you know what? These look tie-dyed. How cool is that? I just watched Danny's video earlier and she was showing how some of her her um, blends look like they were tie dyed. So I will show you, you can see. Oh, you definitely get that coconut. I do pick up the vetiver and the driftwood. So this is coconut, earthy, wood, uh, woody. Oh, this is nice. I can't wait to warm this one. And I had to get this one, um, basically because of the name. If you guys are familiar with Harry Potter, you know who Voldemort is. And then I got Mac Apple. So this is just Juicy, juicy Macintosh Apples. Um, I got this to blend with other things. Oh, it's so good. It's like you just cut into a juicy Macintosh apple. Mmm. Wow. 
Now, I will tell you when I opened up this package, I could smell the apple. <laughs> like, I was, that was the first thing I smelled when I opened this. Um, so that, oh. And these are a pink color. And this last one here, um, I got because Danny talks about this scent all the time. And I was like, you know what? Um, I'm going to get it every time I would go onto the website to see if this one was available. It would always be out of stock. It is a limited release. So um, if, you, if you don't get it when it's available, chances are you won't get it. So I was happy to see that this was um, on the restock list on the 3rd. And the only thing that was sad, it was only one available. <laughs> So I couldn't get more than one, unfortunately. But I'm glad to have this one in my um, collection. <clears throat> oh, it's so good. You get that apple. You get that smokiness from the bonfire. And then you get that lavender. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. That smells so good. I cannot wait to melt this. And this is in two of my favorite colors, pink and purple. Purple being my favorite color, so that would be my first color of choice. And then pink is my second. So I am very happy to have this in my collection. Hopefully I can get more of this at some point, but um, I'm definitely gonna be hoarding this one until I'm able to get some more of that. Um, so this might be um, a blend that I make an exception for. I did see that there, um, that Wendy posted that there's gonna be a scent list coming up on July 1st for um what she's going to be restocking so hopefully this is on the list if it is i will purchase an order to get more of this but other than that i am definitely going on a super 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 low buy for the summer it is getting um hot so i don't want to take any chances with getting um, melted wax and then also I am drowning in wax, so I need to start melting melting through my current stash so I can get, you know, make some room for when I want to place um, other orders in the fall. So I'm going to be focusing on that uh, during the summer, but I will make an exception for, you know, for example, this particular scent, I'll make an exception to place an order to get this um, and things that I know that may not come around until next year. Um, so there'll be exception buys, but for the most part, I am really going to, um, refrain from placing a ton of orders this summer. So we'll see how that goes. Pray for me, y'all. So that was it for my small That Smell Good Shop order. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification so that you're notified when I upload new videos. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye.